Hi, welcome to another video. I found a website. I thought it's too important not to publish. I've seen many simple tutorials using software like this and always wondered where do they get it. So this example, which is in the example circuits, is a class A amplifier. So you, if you're a novice, you can use this tool and build your own circuits. Our input, here sine wave, down here, and our output here. This is the signal generator in and our out is here. So class A amplifier, the transistor is biased all the time with a small voltage and if you have a glance at this potential divider you'll see this one is 11 times smaller than that one or that will go into that 11 times. So you know the voltage is sitting just above ground. It's probably like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 of a volt if you measured the current and then the resistance. Here's a circuit I quickly drew yesterday. This is the output stage of the 1501. These are the biasing transistors. That's the one in near the middle of the board with a shorter junction. Resistors driving the base of a high power output transistors there and there and 2.33 ohm resistors. So at the moment with a 12 ohm load you can see the output here. Now just for when you build your own circuit how do you get your scope views? You simply, if I get rid of this one for a minute, remove scope. Well, I want to know the voltage on this xenodiode. So highlight the xenodiode. View in new undocked scope. And if I go draw, drag selected, I can move that scope up and I can extend the picture. So now if you watch this green waveform and then the yellow current waveform in this scope for this point here as I decrease the speaker impedance in this case it's just a 12 ohm resistor you can hover over the resistor and simply turn the mouse wheel so you can see the currents coming up this yellow trace the voltage is increasing here with here currents coming right up let's go down 2.2 ohm you can see our current has increased dramatically and it's greater than the voltage output and you can see the current here. We've got a lot of current flowing through these xenodiodes. As you can see it here, it seems to be faster there than that one. By decreasing this speaker resistance, we're, we're getting a higher current through each resistor. The voltage across them increases, which means the voltage across the base emitter junction increases which means these diodes, these 3.3 volts in a diode, then start working. So there's a huge current through our Zener diode, there in yellow. You see the voltage. What this scope doesn't show you though, with a 2.2 ohm resistor, these transistors would have already blown up. They're rated at 15 amps, and 2.2 ohm load, they will have failed. So this software, http colon slash slash www.folstad.com and it's Paul Folstad that's developed this software in conjunction with other people who have added various bits. Hopefully this camera will focus. So folstad.com circuits. Yeah, this is some clever software so I thought I must give it a mention. If you're a beginner you want to build your own circuits without breadboard and components, 
give this website a try. Thanks for watching.